Hey guys, what's up? It's the Tech Hacker, and today I'm going to show you how to use your PSP as a game controller for your PC. Um, this works for Windows, Linux, and Mac, and I have a video that shows a test run for this program so you can see how it works. I'll put an annotation up, and then there'll be a link in the description for it too. So, like, basically, you can see what this does. It is, like, basically a game controller for your PC, but it's your PSP. Um, you gotta have custom firmware. I have 5.50 Gen D3, and in the program, um, and the program's compatible with it. So, if you want, you can check out a link in the video description that it has an article from PSPHacks.com, and it shows, it talks about this program, shows like compatibility, and then it has other version downloads. Uh, here's a quick tip if you have a PSP Slim, you can charge your battery while you're using it as a game controller. So what you're going to want to do is go to system settings right there. Go to right there. Then go down to USB charge. Make sure it is not off. Make sure it is on. And it will be charging while it's connected to your PC. So that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the original PSP FAT does not have that feature. Um, okay, so it's really simple to use actually. I'll have a link in the description for for Mega Upload, and it's a download for the Fusion. It's called Fusion Gamepad. That's a program that you're going to be using to allow it to be your P PSP as a game controller. So it's called Fusion Gamepad. I'll have a download in the description for it for Fusion Gamepads for Mega Upload. Uh, you're gonna want to download that. It's a .exe file. And it'll be something like this. Fuchsia Gamepad. Right there. FuchsiaGamepad.exe. Okay. So it's really simple. It basically does everything for you. You don't even have to do anything. All you're going to want to do is get your PSP and attach it to your um, PC with the USB cable. Like that. It should automatically go to USB mode, but if it doesn't, you can just go right here to the uh, top left, so settings, and go one down, USB connection, click on that. And you should hear a little sound on your computer, it's like, da -na, and that means that your PSP has um, connected. And then something like this will come up, autoplay or something like that. Right here, you're going to want to see where it says this, removable disk M. You're going to want to remember that letter M, okay? That's your uh, PSP's uh, folder destination, or destination folder. That's what it is, M. Or for you, it might be different, but whatever. Um, so yeah, now what you're going to want to do is, let's see, memorize the destination folder. Now run fuchsiagamepad.exe. So for me, it's right here, but wherever it is, just click on it and run it. Let you guys see that a little clear. Run it. Okay, it'll come up with something like this. Future Gamepad Installer. It tells you what to do right here. Alright, so this is what you do, step by step. Uh, connect your PSP, obviously. You go to computer, find the PSP driver. That's what we already did for me, it was M. Uh, launch .exe and browse to replace X to find your PSP drive. It says right here, your, it says the destination folder, so I'm going to browse. Okay, now I'm going to click on, uh, right here, I'm going to go down to computer, computer, and M, right there, removable disk M, you don't click anything underneath, you just click on removable disk M, click OK, and right there it should say whatever that destination folder is for you, okay, so then you're just going to click install, right there and it's that simple that's it you're done it's on your PSP now okay so you can unattach it and now what you're gonna wanna do is go back and you're gonna wanna go to the game folder go to memory stick and it should have Fuchsia Gamepad in here somewhere yep Fuchsia Gamepad by Andy Man just click on this And you have to connect it to your USB. 
again. Sorry, I took it out in the first place. It'll say connecting if it's not connected, but if it is connected, it'll say connecting, and it should say connected any second. Yeah, hold up. It's pretty easy. Oh, there. Connected. Whatever. I turned it off. My bad. Uh, let's try it again. Okay. Turn it back on. You should have the USB already in there. That's why it didn't work as fast. But let's try it one more time. Okay. There, connected. All right, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Now it'll be connected on your PC, and since I don't have any uh, like video games on this computer, it's my dad's computer. Well, basically it's my family computer, but whatever. Since I don't have any actual video games on here, I have a couple of emulators though, and I'll show you really quick how easy it is to use. Um, it's a Dreamcast emulator called Null DC. Uh, it's pretty simple. So, I mean, usually they'll have like an options menu. See right there, it says options. But for me, so you're gonna click options, select plugins. That's what you're usually gonna have to be able to do. You're gonna have to find plugin. Okay, so now I'll show you. Uh, right here, this not that's not plugin. Okay, here the controller plugin. You're gonna want to find it, and then it should say something like um, PSP Type D or like joystick or something like that it won't be like controller it won't be keyboard it won't be mouse it'll be something else for me it's joystick I know that for a fact so then you're just gonna wanna go click OK and so now you can actually set the game so so there it is right here now since I put the plugin in if I go to the player one, I can click on PSP Type D. So now my PSP will be the controller, and now I can configure it. So let me just show you real quick. All right, that's pretty simple to use. All you do, it says like analog up. So then you can use your joystick and go up, and then right there you can like keep changing the keys for whatever it is so basically you just click on it you do what you want on the PSP and then I'll say okay done you click close and then you can play your game so once again I do have a test for this uh, on my the, the in an annotation or be a bit in the video description it'll say test run for the future gamepad just click on that see how that works but yeah one quick thing your your PSP screen will turn black like after 10 seconds of being connected a few, but you can see it's still on. There's like a green light there. There, you can see that. To go back to the home screen, you just you can't just click on the home button. It doesn't work. You're gonna have to just uh, like turning it off. You just press it and then you let go. But now you're gonna press it and you just keep holding it until the light turns off. So keep holding it and there, it turned off. So now when you open up your PSP again, it's gonna do the little startup. Sony Entertainment, and then it has to restart like that. You can't just go to the home screen. That's the only down part of Fuchsia Gamepad. So yeah, you're basically done. You can start playing your video games, Call of Duty, you know, Counter Strike, you name it. You can do all that stuff. Just don't ask me how to do it. You're gonna have to research that on your own because I don't have all those games yet. So yeah, thanks for watching my video, guys. This is my new channel, The Tech Hacker, and please subscribe, rate, and comment. Peace out.